Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. You may be looking, noticing that it's looking quite a bit better. This is in fact the enhanced edition that I managed to get my hands on, but rather than starting from scratch all over again, what I decided to do was play pretty much to where I was in the series, in this new, much better looking version of it, and now from here on we'll just continue with the enhanced edition. So I just wanted to point out a few minor changes that have been happening, and um... One of the major ones is that I am no longer a fighter. There's this new class in there called a Dwarven Defender. And you have to be a Dwarf to um, be a Dwarven Defender. And they are just like ridiculous. Oh my goodness, they're crazy. I, I, have, I have a lot of health. Basically, the Dwarven Defender is supposed to be quite powerful. From the tooltip, it sounded like they were heavy damage dealers as well. But the main thing I've noticed so far out of these Dwarven Defenders is they are heavy. Heavily difficult to kill. I have how much health do I have? I've got 51 health at level 3, which is kind of fantastic. I have so much health, it's absolutely insane. And you've got this uh, special ability you get from Dwarven Defenders called um, it's like Defensive Stance or something, and basically it just makes you even more difficult to kill, except that it makes you pretty slow as well. So I'm extremely tanky. And I'm dual wielding really, really shoddy bastard swords. I haven't managed to find any magical items. I've got the gauntlets, the, the dexterity gauntlets on. I've got the Anhig armor. Much of it's pretty much the same. I've got some boots now. I've got like a. I managed to find that ring that I was talking about much earlier on in the playthrough. I managed to find that um, protective ring. And I find a couple of other things, like I got this fantastic um, magical shield. Got plate armor for him. He's still got splint mail. There is just a normal two-handed sword, and of course, I think this is the one. Oh yes, this is the one I managed to find. I was lurking around in the in Berigost, busy opening a whole bunch of chests and stuff, and I managed to find the Stupefier. And basically, this has a 25% chance of stunning the hit target for one to four rounds, and there is no save, and it is incredible, absolutely incredible. Though she hardly ever hits anything because she's just terrible. And then I've got Amoan and um, Garrick. And now we're back here to save old Minsk's witch. And I even went up and did that section and then I've just come down here. So pretty much exactly where we left off with a few minor, minor changes. I am still a dwarf and I am just... I, I love this dwarven defender. I think it is absolutely fantastic. And so far I've noticed that it's kind of overpowered. Oh, another thing is of course that you can now dual wield in Baldur's Gate 1 in the Enhanced Edition, so I'm dual wielding, which I think you may already have noticed and might be going like, what? How is this what? So, yeah, there is, there is of course, that. And I've also been playing some of Baldur's Gate 2. Probably when we finish this playthrough, I'll start up a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 2, but I've been playing that just in my personal time, sort of while I was taking a bit of a break for the holidays um, from making videos. And now I'm back to making videos again! And Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, is also extremely fun. Though I'd say, honestly, Baldur's Gate 1 is more of an improvement with the Enhanced Edition than Baldur's Gate 2 is. It feels like in Baldur's Gate 1, for example, the pathing AI and how the things move and get to where they're supposed to go, tremendous amount better. Whereas in Baldur's Gate 2, it's pretty much the same. And how I feel is that they've made uh, Baldur's Gate 1 a lot more like Baldur's Gate 2 in terms of they've kind of updated it and made it more uh, at the level of Baldur's Gate 2, which I think is a good change because I like Baldur's Gate 2 more, honestly. I just I think it's fantastic. And I always got kind of annoyed at some of the things that you were limited to with Baldur's Gate 1 and it feels like they've taken away a lot of that and made it a lot easier. And for that reason, I would say the Enhanced Edition of Baldur's Gate 1 is in fact better than Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, simply because the improvements from 1 are just much, much larger than the improvements of the other. Now I'm just sort of slinking around here. I think there's like a cave or something around here somewhere. And we're busy exploring before we go into the main place. Uh, I could have sworn... I, I remember there being something really, really awesome in a cave around this area, and I'm not entirely sure. I thought it might have been up top. But it wasn't up top, so now I'm kind of scouring the rest of the place, trying to find wherever this is. Is that a cave? Ooh, we found a cave! Hello there, Yon Cave! A little tree outside. And we got some Zvarts. 
Oh, I need a mage. Oh, a fireball right there would have been just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I want that stupefier to just proc so that people can see what it does. Because it is so awesome. It looks so fantastic. The stun is quite powerful as it is. But the the power, the, like the, the animation of it, what it does is absolutely beautiful. It's like this, I, I don't, I don't want to spoil it. You'll, you'll see soon enough. Eventually it will kind of, um, I want to say proc, I've been playing WoW a while, and, and those types of things, you know, we call it proc. Um, is there nothing else here? I'm pressing tab and that kind of like highlights the lootable stuff. There doesn't actually seem to be anything in this cave, apart from those zvarts which were dispatched with ease. So maybe there's another cave? I could have sworn that there was a cave that had something really, really important in it. But it, yeah, it's not in that one. And I don't, I don't think that they, that it would have been that one, and then they would have changed it in the enhanced edition because they don't seem to have done that. The enhanced edition is there to make things look prettier and not crash, which I must admit I am terribly happy with because, oh my goodness, having to crash when you're trying, especially when you're doing a playthrough, is unbelievably annoying. Though it's also annoying just normally. Um. So, it's kind of nice with the stability increase. Yeah. Is it, where is this cave? I know that there's got to be a cave here somewhere. Hang on, let's, let's loot this stuff. Oh, another change in this is they seem to be kind of handing out gold a little bit more. Though I've spent a lot less gold on this run through. So, I've got uh, a fair amount more. You know, 6,000 gold or so. You know, it's kind of... Kind of a, a bit more than it was before. And of course, I've got my two thieves. Good old thievery thieves. Come along, thieves. Not sure who I'm going to get rid of, like a mage, because I feel like I really need a mage. Maybe I'll get one of the new ones. There's a couple of the new playable characters, and one of them's a mage, I think. I think she's like a wild mage, which I'm not really wild about, though, because wild mages, from what, I, from what little I've looked at them, Apparently they're supposed to be like really, really powerful, but all of their spells have a chance to just go horribly, horribly wrong, and do things that you you just don't wanna you don't wanna know. It's horrible things that have a way of killing you. And there's another cave. And there's another cave. We've got caves coming out of our ears right now. Just so many caves. Couple of zvarts, is there anything in here? Looks like we've just got some zvarts. Oh, I would just love to have a fireball right now. Who are you? You're a Jantus. Okay. I might get rid of a Jantus because he's not proving to be the most amazing out of all of them. And he always takes so much damage. Why is this? I don't know. He doesn't have very much health. Neither does Mintsk, honestly. Oh, this is a somewhat larger cave. I didn't see you over there. A little sort of extra bit of it, just hiding away. Broken weapon. Um, I hope I haven't got any broken weapons. Do I? What? what? Ah, this is one of. The, I really need magical items so that I can stop having these weapons constantly breaking. Maybe I can give that to me. I'm not sure which is better. Seven to twelve. Yeah, it looks like the normal bastard sword is actually better. Um, so, yeah. but I, I need magical weapons because seriously I am so just getting so very tired of things breaking. Go for the eyes too. Go. Got a carrion crawler. Ooh, they always look so freaky. I would love just a mage. Oh, just mage spells. So useful. So terribly useful. What is in this? By hell, as you will. Is that the broken weapon that's in that kind of sack? Usually what yeah it is. Okay. Got some normal stuff over here. Nothing too special. Got a nice little necklace. Yeah, okay. Nothing too amazing in that cave. But we do have another one to explore the depths of. And find out what it hides. What secrets are waiting to be revealed. And there we go. This one seems like it's a slightly larger and more strangely developed cave, and it's got a little box in it, so that looks like it could be quite hopeful. Oh my goodness, they've scratched me! I've still got way more health than anyone else in the entire party. Which is kind of insane. And let's have some people checking for traps, because... Baldsgate, you know, Dungeons and Dragons style, 
People love putting traps down for you to get completely and utterly decimated by. There's a couple of other things in the Enhanced Edition that we'll be looking at. There's like a Black Pits area. Or well, not area, but sort of like a bonus quest line, I think. Which looks like it could be interesting. But I haven't found any things. Oh, there we go. We've got some potions, we've got some scrolls, and my bags are full. How about you? Can you go and grab this stuff? Boom! So we have a tome, we have some scrolls, and... That is it, but that's an unidentified tome. Who knows what it does? It could do anything. So I think that is probably what we, what I remembered and what we came for. And now to actually go around and, you know, save Minsk's mage, witch, thing, whatever. The magic user that I don't particularly like. I think she's like an illusionist or something. And generally, I'm not one for subtly, oh, subtlety. As you may have noticed in my thieving ways here, I'm kind of terrible at it. But just generally, I like to smash things with giant fireballs rather than conjure up illusions. Illusions aren't really my style. I like to just pummel things into the dirt. Or summon up giant dirt mounds that pummel things into the dirt. I guess that would be like an earth elemental? It's always an option. Okay, that is not the way to go. But let's have a look at the pathing, and it doesn't pause when you're in the map, but it does pause when you are in the inventory screen, which I like. Because getting killed while you're trying to sort out stuff in the bags is kind of terrible. Come on, move along. Run, little dots, run! Okay, that's not quite as entertaining as watching them over here. Oh, we got some more Zvarts. There's just so many of them. The blue people. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And they, they kind of look like grumpy old blue gnomes. I, I don't know what they are, but they have a very strange name and they look like grumpy old gnomish men that got dipped in blue paint. Get off my porch, you whippersnapper. I need it for my whizzical invention of gnomishness, for I am a gnome and I am blue. What of it? You know, experiments go wrong when you're a gnome and you end up being blue. Not blue as in sad, blue as in, you know, blue. It's a horrible life to be a gnome, especially a blue gnome. It's just, it's just horrible. The curse of the blue gnome. It knows what you did last summer. That is just so weird. I can't imagine... I'm not sure whether a blue gnome would be either really, really terrifying or not even remotely scary at all. It would be one of those two. It wouldn't be anything in between. It would either be absolutely terrifying or just not even a little bit. Hello there, Knowles. Let's go. Oh no, don't don't attack my thief. Why would you attack my thief? What do you think this is? Do you think you can just climb over my brutish brutes and attack my thieves? I have four brutes. I just thought I'd point that out to you. And we've got a level up for my good old thief. Let's have a look at what we got. We've got some skills. We've got proficiency slots. Do you have... Um, let's have a look here. What do we have? Short sword? I need to find the short bow. You've already got one in there. Can't give you another one. Ooh, what am I going to give you then? Hmm. Well, let's, what does the single weapon style do? This fighting style is for characters who do not wish to use a shield but want some bonus when using a one-handed melee weapon. The wielder gets a minus one bonus to armor class and inflicts critical damage on an attack roll of 19 or 20. Hmm. Okay, that seems like it might be an option. Um, can't really put the points in too many other places. Maybe dagger? Though I don't... Ooh, crossbow. Could probably go with crossbow. I'm, I'm gonna go with crossbow. Where was that point that I had it? I'm gonna go with crossbow. Where was that? There we go! And pickpockets, open locks, fine traps. Let's go with some in open locks and some in fine traps. Seeing as our pickpocketer is indeed our bard. There we go. That's everything. And now we can go and loot the dead, which just seems kind of morbid. But hey, this is Baldur's Gate. And Baldur's Gate is morbid. Yes, this is true. It can be a bit morbid at times. 
You know, we're just we're saving the universe, though, so it, it counterbalances all of the stealing and being a general nuisance to the population and ripping, getting ripped off by merchants. You know, we're just putting tons of gold into the economy and everything. It's fantastic. Where'd you go? You can actually heal yourself up because yeah, you need to, you need to heal up. And I think that they've just changed the ability for the pallies. It's no longer called like lesser heal or whatever. Just for the just for him. It's called something else. But it does the exact same thing. So it doesn't really matter. And you really need to heal up. Seriously. Massive issue right there. I'll get some more gold. I don't really have very much inventory space. I need like a gem bag or something. So that I can have somewhere to put all of this stuff. Okay, maybe I can quick save, try and rest. Quick save again, try and rest. There we go. Got everyone healed up. And now I want to try using Chant. Gives us a nice buff. Or it should do. And you can go with your bardly ways. And you can probably buff yourself with this. I don't know how long it lasts though, I kind of want to find out. But it does make her a lot more powerful. I think it increases like her strength and constitution and stuff. Let's see what we have over here. What do we have hiding in these holes? Lots of gnolls. There are always gnolls just everywhere. Just so many of them. And I'm a little dwarf with way too much health. Seriously, please attack the dwarf. The dwarf shall not die. He's got so much health. Just so much health. And he does so much damage as well. He's absolutely crazy. Is there anything over here? No. No, it doesn't seem to be anything in the hole. Don't see anything down there. So I guess we'll just have to carry on. And we can move over there and pick up something. Cool. Let's go. We've got things to do, people. We've got people to save before Minsk goes crazy and starts killing everyone. Because that would be bad. We, we would like to avoid that. Unless he's going to kill the enemy. In which case, it's perfectly okay. So, Chant doesn't seem to last very long. It's fallen off now. Whoa! You need to back off, because you're getting owned out there. Seriously. Just getting absolutely thrashed. Need to buy some more armor or something. Or just not have him standing in the front lines. That works too. That, that also works. I really wish I could somehow get them to only attack my dwarf, because he is so hard for them to kill. And he hits so insanely hard. I mean, if they hit him and even get a crit, what would kill any of the others he could probably take a second bout of because he's just insane he's got way too much health not that that's a bad thing he doesn't have too much health he has just the right amount possibly could use some bit, a bit more I suppose always more health is always good as long as it's me with the more health and not my enemies because that would just make it take a long time and you know we got things to do we gotta, we gotta do these things and Minsk is leveled up Okay, can I... Okay, two seems to be the limit of what I can give you. So you've got two-handed sword and two-weapon style. So dual wield or two-handed. Hmm. So I'm thinking I'll just give it into two-handed weapon style. And that should work. Seeing as... I think that there's a sword that I'd kind of like for you to use. There's a two-handed sword that might be good for you. Until I can give it to myself, because I am insanely powerful, and things have a way of exploding. Come on, Mace! Just, just, just hit somebody with it, please! Just, just please activate that. I would, I would be so happy if you do that. It's, it looks so cool. Try not to die. Just, just hack him to pieces while she's running around. Normal stuff. I, I think it hasn't even procked yet. Not once. Maybe I can give these to somebody. You can hang on to this. Nope. Everyone's got full inventory. This is horrible. Or good, depending on how you look at it. But for the moment, it's rather irritating. And can you heal him up? And you can heal him up as well. There we go. You're all happy and healed and happy, bard-like. Not dying, which is always good. It's just a flesh wound, but not anymore. It's, there, there are no wounds. Stop being such a drama queen. There are no wounds. You, you have none. You have been healed. And there are no wounds. 
th it looks like there should be some. I think she's down in these things, if I remember correctly. But I always have difficulty with finding her. So she's not there. Oh, oh, hello. I thank thee for saving me. Yeah, I. I'm not even going to try doing the girlish voice, because you see, I plan on actually recording more today, and if I destroy my voice, that is going to make things a little bit difficult. I thank thee for saving me, twas courageous to follow the likes of Minsk into battle. You have no idea, that dude's a looney tune, sorry I didn't mean it Minsk, no, you're just, we're having a private conversation here, we're talking about you, not to you, just about you. Okay, where was I? Right. If a touch foolish, I have naught to offer thee in return, save my services in battle. Mayhaps I could travel with thee a while, and an opportunity may arise for repayment of my debts. Minsk is well, Minsk, but he hath a strong sword arm, whilst I am practiced in the arcane arts. Shall we join? So basically, you have no choice. Alright. Yet yeah, one cannot have too many friends. This screen would dictate otherwise. Th 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 that is exactly what it does. It is saying otherwise. So, yeah. There's that. I can get rid of him, but I don't actually want to do that. I want to... I actually want to load from the quick save and make sure that I get all of the stuff from this guy because that would be kind of pointless if I went to all the trouble. Getting the mage, losing the poor old pallet guy, and just, just get all of the stuff across. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do with all of the stuff? There's so much of it. Okay. You still have more things, don't you? You, you have way too much stuff. Though, on second thought, I could just drop this all on the ground and then... I think it's Dania can just pick it up all over again. Make sure I get everything though. Okay, on the ground it goes. We can put down the small shield. And yes, he was wearing a silver ring. No, it does not help me in any way. But seriously, inventory space is a problem. You may have noticed this. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Let's head on down here. Quick save. And quickly grab her. I need a mage anyway. Is refreshing. So many we need. There we go. One cannot have too many friends. Right! This group shows promise. Give me But, but we were a team, we were bound by honor. Why is everything so complicated? I know, but you see, if I didn't take this terrible mage, Minsk would have left, and that would have been terrible. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I really am. You know, but next time, I mean, I've, I've got the enhanced edition now, so there will be more adventures, and maybe next time Minsk can sit one out, you know, take one for the team. Sorry about that. Well, by hell. No doubt you have returned to your senses and wish to continue our glorious fight against evil. Uh, no. Aren't you gonna go, like, wait somewhere more convenient? Apparently not. Okay, can we just go now? Oh, thank goodness for the better pathing. He actually moves out of the way, which is kind of helpful. And do I have anything for her? Are you? Let's actually have a look at this person. She's an invoker. Okay, so I was completely wrong. Invoker, not... Illusionist. What mage spells do you know? These aren't too bad. What level are you? Two. You're level two. Okay. That's fine. That, that's okay. I'm not going to rage quit over that. It's, 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 all, it's okay. It's fine. Where on earth did I put that magely robe that I picked up? There you go. You can wear that. And I have a scroll case. I have a scroll case. I forgot about that. Open container, I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. None of which I actually need at this point in time, seeing as she can't actually learn anything quite yet. I wish as well as I can. What are your stats like? Yeah, not too bad, I guess. Just looking at the intelligence, really. I'd like it to be a bit higher, but... Oh well, what can you do? What can you do? And now we can move on, because Minsk should be happy, everything should be good and right in the world, and now we can go. Null's smell. I need a shower. Ugh. Null. The odor Null. Yuck. Just yuck. How much health do you have as well? Who's this? Why are you standing there? Why aren't you? Oh, right. The perpetual thing of me not paying attention. Let's see. How can I 
free you from... I think I'll just have to get rid of the shields. Oh, it's paused here. I, I keep forgetting that. Move! Oh, we found some friends! I brought friends, darling! They smell, and they have teeth, and giant halberds and stuff. But th I know that you'll get along just fine. You always seem to have a knack for getting along with things with teeth. Really, really big, gnarly teeth. Let's try not to die now, shall we? Here they come. And now... Oh, you don't even have a staff. That, that's correct. And you don't... You haven't rested. You have no spells. You're just dead weight. How are you going to attack from there? How is this helping? The, the parthing's not perfect. And now I'm Owen standing at the top and they can't get out. <laughs> Minsk's just got to like solo it. We're all just sort of hanging back trying to make Minsk look good in front of his lady and everything. And our new maid seems to be somewhat of a brawler. She just runs up and starts punching people in the face. Which is alright by me. I think she's going to get along just fine in this party. She keeps that up. Start brawling with people. As long as she doesn't die. That would be rather unfortunate. And now everyone can actually move, which is helpful. Let's see what we have down here. I think that they might have had some scrolls. Yes, they did. Cool. And onward we go! There's a couple of things that I heard of while I was running around in Beragost. I think there's like some crazy cleric that we can go and kill, so that might be something we can do. And it's an inner area that we haven't visited yet, which is of course always fun. There's also a couple of other things that we still need to finish up inside of the mine. Well, not inside of the mines, but around the mines. There's some people there that need to be taken care of. There's lots of stuff to do in the beautiful and wonderful land that is. Baldur's Gate. So let's go and head on over to Baragost because we need equipment. So on to Baragost we go. And time for a quick save. And yes, I found the button at last. Oh, joyous news. Anyway, that's it for this episode. We finally r managed to rescue the mage. And I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next episode in Baldur's Gate, the Enhanced Edition. Good luck, have fun, and cheerio.